All right, Shalom. You are the Hebrew Israelite. Come out here week in and week out. Prophesy the downfall of America. What? The Hebrew Israelites. Okay. You ever read in the Bible about the Israelites? I mean, I've read parts of that, not school. Well, when Moses led out of Egypt, yeah. you hear those people on the sun. Okay. Those Latinos and Native Americans. Okay. The reason we out here is to wake up and be led of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because everybody believed that God is going to come back and save everybody. But that's not true. It's only coming to save Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and only a select few of them. If honestly that's the case, that's fine. I'm not super religious. But you know what I mean? Like, if I was super religious, I'd probably be more interested in learning more about it. Yeah. You know? Like, I would totally talk about this with you guys some other time because you guys seem really interesting. But I'm actually here for a bachelorette party. So. Are you? But hey, you guys have a good night, all right? All right. And thank you for, you know, being out here. So as I was saying, we come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, all right? Which is going to be destroyed in the Third World War, which is going to be nuclear. Okay? Before we get started, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, ever honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, and blessing to the elect, and a brother out here to the truth and sincerity. Looking forward to getting up out of this place, man. Alright? Go ahead. Alright, so we're gonna be reading Romans chapter 13, verse 11. For it is written, As I live, said the Lord, every knee shall bow to me. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time. That now was high time to wake out of sleep. Yeah, what is that sleep? All right, the slumber. How people portray uh, Americans as zombies. That's what the sleep is. All right, whether you a so-called white person, or if you on this sign right here, a Negro, Latino, or Native American, or you could be Chinese, Japanese. But really, it's speaking about our people, man. All right, wake up out of that sleep, and that sleep. Uh, is, is the philosophies of this world, man. All right? Because the so-called white man has made our nation docile. He's dumbed us down. He's, he sedated us. All right? We think that we made it because we got food stamps in Section 8. But that's not the case, man. That's why we can't come up as a nation in this place because this is not our king. All right? This is the so-called white man's king. White supremacy in this place. All right, they think just by luck that they got all, uh, all the so-called money. Which ain't even real money. Which is not even real money unless you're one of the, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, man. You got, you know, gold and silver and land and everything, man. Okay? But you got a lot of white people that walk around portraying themselves as better than these people on this sign because they have money or they have more success than our people in this place, man. All right? But this place was set up to be a punishment, man. Just, just as well as when we was in Egypt and we was in slavery 400 some odd years, all right? We couldn't come up in that place, man. We would build pyramids and fucking statues and shit, man. All right, the same with this place. We came right over here. We was put in slavery. We built this place up. All right? That's why, if, if, let's just say all the Negroes, Latinos, and the natives leave this place, man, it's not going to be able to run properly. All right? So this is our punishment as well as Egypt was, man. But it's time to wake up out of that. Okay? And waking up means coming back to these scriptures. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 13 but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light for whatsoever doeth manifest is light or for he saith awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Hamashiach shall give thee light yep yep give thee light because the light is the scripture at the end of the day alright the law the statutes the commandments 
So that's the way that you come, that's the way you be woken up is coming back into, into the doctrine, man. All right? Not the doctrine that, uh, not the doctrine of uh, the Lord is a so-called white man, all right? Or that Jesus is his real name and you can just call on that and anything can happen. If that's the case, everybody will have what they want. Bro. You wouldn't have nobody stressed out. You wouldn't have nobody mad at each other because if they lose their job, they just pray to have enough something. and they got it right there. All right? Go ahead. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah, now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. And the salvation don't go to everybody, man. Everybody feel like, because they say, I love Jesus, that when he shows up, they're going to be saved. That's not the case, man. All right? That our salvation, first of all, Paul was from the tribe of Benjamin. Paul was an Israelite. He was writing to the Israelites. So that our salvation consists of the Israelites, all right? And on the side of that, he said he endured all things for the elect's sake, all right? So that elect, guess what? They're Israelites, okay? Them are, uh, they're going to be the ones who are going to be saved from this third world's war. They're going to be the ones who saved through this martial law that's coming, all right? Just because everything seems hunky-dory now doesn't mean it's always going to be like this, you know? Or you might see a little fault in the economy or something, and you're just like, oh, well, we have bounced back. You know what I'm saying? This America is just like a little roller coaster, up and down, up and down, and that ain't good for business, man. Because after a business is, is doing good and doing bad, doing good and doing bad, it ends up shutting down, man. Because it has no stability. And that's what America is, all right? America, is sick. America has been built on the sand by the beach, okay? There's no foundation but that sand. So when the storm come, which is the most high uh, sin in the sun, when the storm comes, it's going to be wiped away, man. Okay? And this storm is going to come in the form of fire, man, to cleanse this place. Not only cleanse it, but completely destroy it, lay it flat, and make it a home for desert animals. It says the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Yep, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Because you might, it might, like, hey, the scriptures even say that. Though it tarry, wait for it, man. You know? It might seem like it's taking a little longer, but the day is still at hand, man. You know what I'm saying? Before we came out here, we, we heard words that we needed to be heard, man. All right? It, it's not time to be planned because of that. Read that again. It says the, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Yeah, because that day is at hand. What day? Judgment day. The day that everybody hear about as a kid, man. Okay? You hear from your grandma, your grandpa, whoever. I bet you done heard about judgment day. Whether you white, black, yellow, green, blue, whatever, man. All right? Because that's what everybody is worried about, for the most part. Not in a sense of worried about, like, they trying to get right. But they know that that day is going to come. But Esau, the so-called white man, has built this society into being what you want to be, doing what you want to do. Um, basically, you can make your own self happy. You don't need the most high. All right? So they're not worried about it, as well as our people. That's why I said it's time to wake out of that sleep, man. Okay? That's part of that sleep. Thinking that you good. Thinking that everything's okay. Being a little sheeple for the government, man. Anything they say, like I hate a nigga that say, man, this and this, and I saw this on TV, man. You got to do your own research, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what they say they going to come out with a new Barney show. He going to be blue. That doesn't mean that it's true. Just because it was said on TV. All right? But part of that, it got to do with the most high, man. And it's son, the spirit, the grace that is given upon some to shake out of that, man. And that's our purpose for being out here. It's to wake up the elect. Like Paul said, we do it for the elect's sake, man. All right? Because we know that your average peon ain't going to get it. And on the side of that, we know that two-thirds of our people got to die, man. They not going to get it because they don't want to get it, man. All right? 
Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Yeah, what is the works of darkness, man? Sin, wickedness, all right, adultery, um, um, smoking, eating pork, all right, stealing, all right, uh, fornication, homosexuality, especially, man. Is that is that thing wrong? Oh, wrong. Okay. in this place, man. Just think, like 10 years from now, 15 years, it's just going to get worse because that's what it's being doing. At first, niggas was hiding in the closet. And when I'm, or well, people, I'm going to say people, man. People was hiding in the closet. Then a couple come out, then a couple come out. Then, you know what I'm saying? Now, you can, hey, this guy was the first gay NBA player to announce he's gay. This guy was the first NCAA football player to announce he's gay. This guy, it, that shit ain't nothing to glory in, man. But, but then you got niggas that walk around, say they read the Bible, or they read the Bible, but act like they never heard about Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? Which was destroyed for the homosexuality acts done in that place, man. All right? Yes, sir. Yeah, they, they make it part of your everyday life. They put it in front of your face so much yep. so that you get used to it. Yep. That's that's what Esau does with, with all his doctrines. He that's what basically indoctrinating you in. Slowly bringing it in so that you're used to it. That's how the uh the the, the army gonna come in like a flood. They they that's why they do all these uh false flags, terrorist attacks, all these military exercises. They conditioning you so that it's everyday life. So it's a norm. Yep. So when it when it happens, it ain't like, oh my gosh, my my rights. You ain't gonna be thinking about your rights because they just like, look, this happened, we gotta come in here. Just like they did in Boston. They was just running in people's houses, man. Niggas wasn't saying you ain't had nothing to say. Three motherfuckers knock on your door with assault rifles, you ain't gonna let them in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Done. It says, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, yep. and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah, cast off the works of darkness, and put on the armor of light. So, whatever you was doing, you got to put that off, man. Okay? Whatever, you, the, all of the, 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 the sins or the wickedness that you was doing, you have to put that off and come to the light. Because remember, it's speaking about salvation, all right? So you're not going to get salvation by doing what the hell you want to do. I can't sit here. I can't sit here and eat goddamn pork chops when I'm by myself because I know the brothers don't see me and I expect salvation, man. All right? It's just like with a job. When you want a job, you do what? You go get some proper clothes. You know what I'm saying? You might put on your little, your proper, uh, your proper speech. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta act right to get uh, that job, man. And the same thing with the with the uh, Most High. You gotta do the right things to get that salvation, man. Because it, hey, eventually it will be a job. Because the elect is gonna be part of the governing body of, of the kingdom of heaven that you heard about as a baby, as a baby boy, baby girl. All right. But they gonna be part of that governing body. With with uh part of with the rest of Israel under them, and then we're gonna have our slaves, man. You gotta do it with sincerity, though. You can't yeah. you can't fake the fuck with the Most High like you can with your boss at work. Because you know, like the brother said, we we put on that face, you know what I'm saying? We go to work, but we we still don't step outside the scriptures. Anything that you that you do, you know, you gotta be full fledged in it. And there ain't no faith in the truth. Or you're not in the truth. Yeah, you can, you can only fake the funk, you know what I'm saying, for so long. Because the scriptures also say everything done in the dark will come to light. Alright? So so just like um just like Judas, he couldn't he couldn't hold back, you know what I'm saying, from what he had to do. Hey, the same thing's gonna the Lord knew the whole time, but the rest of the disciples didn't know. But eventually it came out, man. Alright? No matter how bad he wanted to not betray the Lord, because and what proves that is he committed suicide, man. But things gotta be done in order for other things to happen, man. Like the brothers in Texas was talking about the algorithm, man. 
That's what. That's all it is. We ain't nothing but a part of a system beyond our minds, man. So you think, oh, I, I woke up today. My alarm woke me up today. I'm about to make this some food. I'm about to get something to eat. And all of that, the Lord is doing, man. Right. The Lord is doing that. But it's, it's, such, it's on a, such a small uh, scale that you think it's you. You think you got your apartment because you go to work and because you got your check and you paid your rent. The Lord allowed you, first of all, He allowed you not to be disabled so you could work. He allowed you to have food in the house. He allowed you to have that job. So at the end of the day, it's all the most high. And, and the same with this, like I said, putting off that uh, putting off that uh, darkness and putting on the armor of light. But that's even up to the Most High because He said, "I have called you." It ain't like one day you just wake up and I'm going to be right. That's why when we out here, we we know we know through the through the Spirit who's uh, who is meant for, it, man. We're not trying to quote unquote convert everybody, man. Brother, none of y'all listen. 